Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jules once again, and today we're going to talk about the nature of mathematics. But before that one, let us try to define what is mathematics. For some, they say mathematics is just merely a study of numbers in arithmetic operations like plus, minus, times, divide, and etc. And for some, they say mathematics is a tool or a collection of skills that help us answer the questions of how many or how much. Well, in fact, math is as beautiful as art. Instead of pains, mathematicians use numbers, patterns, and equations to express the beauty of nature. The heart of mathematics is more than just numbers. Numbers which may supposed to be meaningless and uninteresting to some. There are many patterns around us. In countries with four seasons, the sequence is always winter, spring, summer, and fall. And our bodies follow a natural internal process that regulates the sleep-wake cycle and repeats roughly every 24 hours. And how do we know when to celebrate our birthdays? By looking at the calendar. They have been in use for over 2,000 years. They suggest that thousands of years ago, people had already discovered patterns of time and seasons that affects how they perform tasks necessary for their survival. It is also interesting to know that these patterns in nature are being used by humans in designing magnificent structures. Now, what is really mathematics is? Mathematics is the study of relationships among numbers, quantities, and shapes. It also enhances our critical thinking skills, reasoning, spatial thinking, and creativity. Now, most of us, every time we answer a certain mathematical problem, we tend to think of a way to solve that particular problem. And if, for instance, that that certain way didn't work out, we would find another solution again. And we will never stop until we get that right answer. This is somehow how mathematics helps us to be a better thinker. Finally, mathematics helps organize patterns and regularities in the modern world. And that is what we are going to discuss on the next lessons. Now, if you really want to understand the world using mathematics, there are three steps to follow. First is you need to find patterns. Next is to represent a pattern in the form of symbols, notations, shapes, and numbers. And finally, interpret these patterns. Now, with all these things in mind, where is mathematics? Well, mathematics is in nature, in our daily routine, in people and communities, and even in events. What is mathematics for? Mathematics helps us unravel the puzzles of nature. It also organizes patterns and regularities as well as irregularities. It also predicts some uncertainties, control weather, and epidemics. It also provides new questions to think about. Now, how is mathematics done? Mathematics is done with curiosity with a penchant for seeking patterns and generalities, with a desire to know the truth, with trial and error, without fear of facing more questions and problems to solve, and with tenacity. So why not try to see mathematics from a different point of view? And maybe 
it is the hidden secret in understanding the world.